and welcome back to another episode of ANN. Well, the news will always be biased, and from my point of view. This week's hot topics will include scientific news, sports news, entertainment news, a brand new segment called Must Have Products, the song of the week, our honorable mention, as well as the Clown Dog Award and the Hollerback Award. In scientific news, marijuana makes COVID-19 better. That's right, folks. I am both really excited and pretty darn confused to report that marijuana is now being used to treat lung inflammation in COVID-19 patients. But remember when they told us that we made COVID worse? So basically, they don't know shit about this virus, but they want us to be guinea pigs for their little vaccine? Absolutely not. In sports news, LeBron James turns 36 on the exact same day where LeBron played his 1,000th consecutive game in which he scored 10 or more points. The last time LeBron scored less than 10 points was back in 2007. So do we need any more proof that LeBron is the greatest player alive? Or are men still going to continue measuring their dicks by comparing LeBron to Michael Jordan. Happy birthday, Bron! <gasps> In entertainment news, Lil Pump gets kicked off a jet blue flight for his refusal to wear a mask. Now, what I find most interesting about this story is not the fact that that fool refuses to wear a mask. That's pretty typical of Trump people. But the fact that his ass was flying jet blue. Homie, you can't fly Delta? Or even Southwest? Perhaps you should have spent more time making music rather than living up in Trump's nutsack. Who lost, by the way. So all that ball juggling that you did was for absolutely nothing. Let's just take a moment and watch his dumbass be the fool that he is. All 20, 2021, I ain't wearing no mask. I don't gotta wear no fucking mask, bitch. Corona's fake. Bye. And this is our future, people. This week's new music includes Playboy Cardi, Lil Dark and Ruby Rose. I have come up with a brand new ranking system that I'm gonna start using going forward to rank each new album. So, for one cucumber, that equals absolute trash. And if you get five cucumbers, that means the album is fire! Lil Durk dropped a new album entitled The Voice. I was extremely underwhelmed by this album. It's definitely not my particular taste. Now, if you're into this new age mumble rap, then listen, this album is for you. But me personally, I had a really hard time listening to this whole album. There was only a couple of songs that I really liked and they were called Coming Home and Stay Down featuring Young Thug and Six Black. So Lil Durk, you get two cucumbers for this album. Another new age mumble rap rapper that dropped an album is Playboy Cardi. His album is entitled A Whole Lot of Red. And listen, it's a whole lot of trash. I couldn't even listen to this album without getting a headache. The beats are too much. There's so much going on and none of it is good. So Mr. Cartier, you get one cucumber for that pile of shit that you dropped. 
The next artist to drop a brand new album is Ruby Rose, entitled For The Streets. All I can say is, yes, queen, finally, show these men how to drop a motherfucking album, because they don't know what they're doing. I loved every single song on this album, including a whole lot of liquor featuring Party Next Door and Future. Guys, this 19 minute gym is a must listen. My favorite song is actually going to be the song of the week, so stay tuned. So because a girl is literally obsessed with quality products and skincare, I figure I might as well start sharing that with you guys. So starting this week, I'm going to start giving you guys my favorite must have products. And this week's product starts with Jack Black Lip Balm. I've been using this product for probably about a year now. Now, it is a cosmetic line for men, but I am absolutely obsessed with the moisture and the natural gloss that this Jack Black Balm gives you. My personal favorite flavor is vanilla bourbon, but it comes in a variety of flavors. They are all SPF 25, which is fantastic for those of us that live in places like California where the sun is constantly burning up your lips. You can buy the Jack Black Lip Balm from Ulta or Amazon for $8. Comment down below, guys, if you think I should give away one of the Jack Black Lip Balms in next month's giveaway. This week's song of the week goes to Ruby Rose. Her song entitled, He In His Feelings, is just perfect, guys. The beat, her flow, the lyrics, the energy, the vibe, everything is just perfect. Talk about bringing 2021 in with a bang, y'all. I see you, Ruby. Okay, girl. This week's honorable mention goes to my parents. As you guys know, I started Alana Nicole Network exactly nine episodes ago. And initially, I had no idea what the freak I was doing. I had no clue how to start a pop culture podcast. So, thank the Lord that both of my parents both studied mass communications in college. My daddy is a television producer who lives all the way in Doha. He took his time to give me Skype interviews to show me proper hosting training. And my mama, who graduated with a communications degree, kept me all the way together. Anytime my grammar was off, she would be like, Alana, go ahead and fix that before you make a complete fool of yourself. And also, anytime my jokes were lame, she was like, mm, no, you might want to redo that. So thank the Lord for my parents because literally and both figuratively, I would not be here right now without them. So that's why this week's honorable mention go to my parents. This week's clown dog award goes to Wonder Woman. Talk about a freaking Christmas letdown. I was so excited to see this movie because as women, we don't have a whole lot of superheroes to look up to. In fact, Wonder Woman, Captain Marvel, they're kind of it. So, to my utter surprise, at Miss Patty Jenkins, at her inability to make a woman empowerment movie is beyond me. I am extremely disgusted by the lack of the plot, a lack of storyline, and a lack of Wonder Woman and a freaking Wonder Woman movie. How was the whole movie about everyone else except for Wonder Woman? Mr. Pedro Pascal got all the time he needed for this movie. But where was Wonder Woman? Chris Pines got all the time he needed in this movie. But where was Wonder Woman? 
And Christian Wig got all of the time. She even showed up as a member from Cats in a Wonder Woman movie. But there was no Wonder Woman. All of those characters had a full beginning, middle, and end. But Wonder Woman got shit. And that's why this week's Clown Dog Award goes to Wonder Woman. What the fuck? This week's Hollaback Award goes to Club Xena. Thank you so much, girl, for constantly supporting me and showing me nothing but love. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching another episode of ANN, where the news will always be biased and from my point of view. Don't forget to tune in next week for another episode. And as always, smile, share, and subscribe. Happy New Year, guys!